my name is pooja welcome to this week's episode of around the world there are various stories of friendship and enmity in the history of the world one such story is of algeria and france the mutual past of these two countries located at the opposite ends of the mediterranean has been very bitter just like the relations between india and britain used to be at one time The reasons behind the bitterness between Algeria and France are also almost the same as India and Britain. For centuries, many countries of the world have suffered the brunt of the slavery of European countries which still haunt them. There is a saying that time heals every wound. Many countries which have suffered colonial slavery are moving towards a golden future by forgetting their tumultuous past over time. Now these countries are capable enough that they choose their friends and foes accordingly to their national interest. For instance, take an example of Algeria. It is one such country which prioritizing its national interest had given signs of severing its two decade old friendship with Spain a few months ago. Today, if Algeria and France are trying to bring some affability by forgetting their age old mutual bitterness, it is also for the better interests of their respective countries. Recently, French President Emmanuel Macron was on a 3-day visit to Algeria. During this visit, he met his Algerian counterpart Abdel Majid Tibboune. During the meeting, both the countries also discussed about establishing friendly diplomatic relations. Against this backdrop, several pertinent questions arise. First, what was the bitter past that Algeria had with France, which Algerians have not forgotten even today? Secondly, why Algeria and France are trying to increase proximity with each other these days. Third, what is Emmanuel Macron's agenda for Algeria? We will discuss all these aspects in today's story. Let us first of all know about the geopolitical position of France and Algeria. Algeria, which has completed 60 years of its independence, is a country in the Maghreb region. If you want to know that where is the Maghreb region and which countries are included in it, then you can watch one of our old episodes titled Tunisia's Draft Constitution. The link has been given in the description below for your convenience. Now let's come back to Algeria. Algeria shares land borders with seven countries at the northern end of the African continent. Algeria is bordered by Morocco to the northwest, Tunisia to the northeast, Libya to the east, and Niger to the southeast, while it borders Mali, Mauritania, and Western Sahara to the southwest. France is a country located at the western end of Europe. It shares maritime borders with the Bay of Biscay to the west, the English Channel to the northwest, the North Sea to the north, and Mediterranean Sea to the south. France shares its borders with Belgium and Luxembourg to the northeast, Germany, Switzerland, and Italy to the east and Monaco, Spain, and Andorra to the south. Both Algeria and France are countries located along the Mediterranean Sea. Algeria serves as a gateway between Africa and Europe. Algeria is a country with a long history of foreign invasions. In the 19th century, France attacked and captured Algeria's largest city and its capital, Algiers. France got defeated in World War II. However, Algeria people still could not get rid of France. Algeria was occupied by France for 132 years. After a fierce war that lasted from 1954 to 1962, Algeria won its independence from France. Ahmed Ben Bella Azad was elected as the first president of Algeria and a one-party presidential rule began in the country. Even after the historical stiff relations between France and Algeria couldn't get better. Relations between both the countries have remained very complex. In 2017, Macron declared French colonialism as crime against humanity. However, he later questioned the existence of Algeria as a pre-colonial nation. His statement further added to the complexities of relations between the two countries. Macron claimed that Algeria was ruled by a political military system. Not only this, France had also decided to significantly reduce the number of visas given to the citizens of Algeria, Tunisia, and Morocco. In response to this, Algeria accused France of committing genocide in the past. It also claimed that Macron was trying to give a new face to the history. In October 2021, as a mark of protest, Algeria 
called its ambassador back from Paris. Not only this, Algerian government also banned French aircrafts from using its passage. Many times, Algeria has also shown its resentment about the fact that France has never apologized for its cruelty towards Algeria. Algeria has claimed that France has never apologized for its brutal behavior, rather, it has glorified it. In such a scenario, the question arises that why are the two countries trying to increase proximity between them despite the complexity of their relation? Algeria is strategically important due to its geopolitical location. Let us look at the map. It is to be noted that Algeria is the largest country in Africa in terms of area. Most of this country falls in the region of Sahara Desert. The Mediterranean Sea lies exactly to the north of Algeria, which further enhances the potential of solar energy in Algeria. Algeria has always been a major agricultural country due to its proximity to the Mediterranean Sea. Not only this, it has also been very rich in terms of oil and natural gas resources. It is an important oil and natural gas reserve for various European countries. Petroleum, natural gas, coring and food processing are the major industries in Algeria. Energy export is the backbone of the Algerian economy. According to OPEC, Algeria has the 16th largest oil reserve in the world and the second largest oil reserve in Africa. It has the 9th largest natural gas reserve. In addition, Algeria's national oil company Sonatrach is the largest oil company in Africa. The vast reserves of oil and natural gas attract European countries to Algeria. It is also a fact that after the Russia-Ukraine war, the energy crisis is a big issue for European countries. Obviously, these countries are in search of alternative sources of energy supply. France is a major player in Europe anyway. In such a situation, it also understands the importance of Algeria. Another reason is economic participation. European countries want to curb China's growing influence on African countries. Macron also made it clear during his visit to Algeria that he was also seeing Algeria as a major market for French goods. In addition, increasing French visas for Algerians are also on Macron's agenda. He also spoke of enrolling 8,000 additional Algerian students to study in France this year. Macron also wants to raise human rights concerns in Algeria. Macron's most surprising step was his proposal of investigation into the eight-year-long Algerian war against France. For this purpose, he announced to set up a joint commission of historians. However, Macron's proposal was opposed by leaders of both left and right wings of France. Overall, Macron wants to take advantage of Algeria's geographical position. Given the energy crisis, the importance of Algeria to France has increased multiple folds. In such a situation, it would be interesting to see how successful Macron would be in improving his strained ties with Algeria and whether Algeria will prove to be useful to European countries or not. Now let us look at today's question. Why has Algeria become so important for European countries after the Russian-Ukraine war? Examine.